Hi, Dr. Anita Hawk, your chiropractic coach and mentor to help you achieve unbelievable levels of success in your own career. I am soon to be celebrating our 15th year anniversary in our practice. I graduated in 2003, started my practice in 2004. And why I share this with you today is because over the years, one of the main things that I can think of that separates what made me grow as a better doctor, a better leader, a, a better example to the community is by asking the right questions. And that's really the theme of what I want you to think about today in your own practice or with your own patients, or even if you're still just a student, if you want better answers then you have to start asking better questions. Something I learned from uh, a Tony Robbins seminar not too long ago. And with that, how do I take that into practice? And how do I take that in with my patients? Well, I like to ask my patients questions that are meaningful to them. What I mean is beyond the L-O-P-Q-R-S-T questions. Yes, we of course want to know about the location, the onset, how long they've had the pain, what makes it better, what makes it worse. And then I like to dive in a little bit deeper. So how does this pain affect your day-to-day -day activities? What is one thing that this discomfort is now preventing you from doing or frustrating you about? How do you think your life would change if you didn't have this discomfort anymore? I know you said you had this pain just last week. Tell me, is this really the first time you've ever experienced any pain in, in that area? Or do you ever remember a time in the past, maybe even when you were younger and an athlete where maybe you weakened that area or it was, dis it was uncomfortable for you? If I could find a way to help you get out of this pain and stay out of this pain for more of a long term, is that something you're looking for? Or are you just looking for some temporary quick pain relief and then come back when you're hurting again? You see, Doc, those are some examples of some of the questions that I like to dive in deep and ask my patients. Like I said, there's no way that we can improve until we start improving how we ask our patients what they really want. And then when we ask them what they really want and we get the answers, then and only then I find that I can present my patients with the best answer or with the solution that will give them the higher quality of life. Keep that in mind today when you see your patient. Even if they're not a new patient, ask them questions on a day-to-day -day basis with an adjustment. How is the adjustment making you better? Tell me something you can do now that maybe you can do so well in the past before you were getting adjusted. If you never got adjusted, where do you think you would be? Who is somebody else that you know could benefit from coming in here and getting adjusted? Just a few tidbits for you, docs. I'll be back again soon with another tip. Dr. Anita Hawk.